Welcome back, everybody, to Farming Simulator 22. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, uh, we are at the end of July, and we have some chores to do, and we also have to fix a couple of things from the last episode. So if you guys watched the last episode and you saw the note that I put in towards the end of it, excuse me, um, you'll notice, uh, or you noticed that Basically, I owe the game whatever 18,933 minus 18,399 is. 18,933 minus 19, or no. Start over. 18,933 minus 18,399. I did a little dyslexia number. That's 534 bucks. Um, okay, so let's take out $534. And then also the game owes me another 1,000 liters of oats for our grain mill. So let's go into here, go to here, and we want to go to crops and oats and spawn in 1,000 liters of oats. And then we'll go into our mill and activate that because the mill has already over the last two in-game days has already consumed all of the wheat and all of the oats that we had in there and converted all that into flour. Um, okay, so I'm not going to explain to you right now why I did that, but there's a reason for it, and the explanation is in the last video, um, episode 107, I think it was, towards the end, if you're curious as to why I did that. Okay, so um, this is a big big moment for us because what we're going to do ladies and gentlemen is we're going to purchase our first big field um, we've purchased smaller fields and maybe arguably one or two medium size but now we're going to buy a big field so here's the deal uh, we are going to purchase field 57 uh, it's not the largest field on the map but it's one of the larger ones and the thing i like about 57 well there's two things i like about it one it's right next to our farm so it's adjacent um, and two, if you look at this, there's a lot of extra land here that we can convert into field. Um, so 57 is bigger than it looks if you take that into account. Um, and the other reason why we're doing 57 specifically is because it has a crop of sorghum on it, which we can then harvest for flour for our grain mill. And then um, we're not going to flip this field. Uh, well, I've, I've never actually have flipped a field anyways, but we're not going to flip this one anyways because what we're going to do is keep it and use it as our main uh, or at least our first main grain field moving forward for the rest of this playthrough um interestingly enough field 31 and 73 um all of a sudden had the oats reappear on them <laughs> after the the weirdness that happened with the contracts in the last couple of episodes but I'm not going to touch them. I'm, I'm going to consider them harvested because we did, in fact, harvest those fields, even though the oats are back on them. So we're just going to pre pretend those are not there. Uh, so we're going to purchase 57. I kind of like 51, like to get 51 too, just because, again, it's adjacent to our farm, but it's a pretty small field. And we don't even have enough cash on hand to purchase this one. So we're going to wait on 51. It, it, it's my tentative plan to eventually purchase 51 too um but right now 57 is is actually more than we can even handle well it's not because you know my plan is to to take out a loan to to make it happen okay so um so what do we need for this we are going to need 3000 or 300,000 good lord 372,432 dollars uh, to purchase this and we currently have 208,000. Okay, so let's get out the trusty calculator here. And we're going to go 372 432 minus 20813 208311, sorry. And so we need $164,121 to purchase this field. But excuse me, we also need some operating cash on top of that. So if I take out a $180,000 loan, that still gives us about 16,000 left over of just, you know, operating cash, which 
It's a little bit light, but I think I think it's doable. Uh, so we're looking at a loan of $180,000, which we will be able to very quickly uh, pay back off, even potentially, well, maybe not before the end of the year, but definitely by the end of the year when we get our big payout. Okay, so um, just trying to make sure that's exactly what we want to do, and I'm pretty sure that it is. And we got to purchase it this month because if we wait till next month, it's possible that the computer farmer will harvest that field themselves uh, when sorghum comes up for harvest, which is in August, I believe. Let's double check that. Sorghum is here, and yeah, August is when it can be harvested. So we have to buy it this month to make sure that we get it. Uh, and not risk, you know, uh, well, there's no reason for us to wait till August anyways. Okay, so I was going to do one other thing first. Um, did I look at the sales? Yeah, we did look at the sales. So there's nothing in here we're really interested in. Okay, so yeah, let's do it. Let's go ahead and go to the bank and we are going to borrow $180,000 to make this work for us. There we go. Um, yeah, okay. So it's done. It's a done deal. And now what we're going to do is go into here, and we are going to purchase field 57. Man, that was expensive. <laughs> but this is now ours, ladies and gentlemen. This is now ours. So... We're going to we're going to harvest the sorghum off of it next month. And then I'm going to we're going to have a few trees to clear along here. And we're going to expand this field pretty much all the way to the border, you know, like we've like we've done with almost all of our other fields. Maybe not all the way to the border, but pretty close to it. Uh okay. That's cool. So yeah, that's our first large field purchase of this series. Um and uh, that's pretty neat that we own that now, and we will own it for the rest of the series. At least that's my plan. Um, so that leaves us with $15,879 of operating cash, which I think we'll be okay with. Uh, this silage is now fermented. Yep. And um, But we're not going to touch this right now. We're going to leave it alone because we still have a couple of silage bales over here that we have to first use up. Also, all of this is now silage, and I need to get it loaded into our... Um, our storage area. Uh, we have 2.2 million liters of straw, which is just amazing. So we, have, we got a big old barn load of straw. We didn't quite fill it up, but man, we came close. And then let's see, I think I got 21. I, b I believe I got 21 bales of hay from the, the July con contracts uh, that I turned in on July 1st. Uh, so, yeah, we beefed up our hay a little bit. We don't have a ton, but we certainly have plenty for our own needs. Maybe not really enough to, to sell any excess, but we certainly have enough for our own needs. Okay, so let's see here. Uh, we got to get some chores done. That's a first order of business. Uh, we're not going to do anything on our new field, of course, until next month because uh, we can't harvest it until next month. And I don't really want to mess with trying to expand the field until, you know, the main field's harvested. So we're just going to leave it alone for now. But let's hop in, actually, let's go over here. And I still have some TMR in this wagon, so we'll dump the rest of this for the cows. Uh, but I probably don't have enough to completely feed them. So we'll do another mixture. Okay, so let's see. Uh, we're also going to need to put some more straw in here, too. So, yeah, that didn't... Uh, we're going to do a, another full wagon mixture, and we're going to have to put some straw in here. And we have a bunch of milk to deliver over to our dairy. A um, couple other things, Mo uh, as far as mods go, um, I thought... Oh, man, we got a lot of wool to move, too, which is a nice problem to have. It's not really a problem at all. It's just another chore um, that we're happy to do. I thought I had installed uh, the GPS mod, or more specifically the guidance steering, and I hadn't. So uh, it is installed now. I made sure it was installed. And I mentioned this in the last episode, but none of the fields, 
None of the f computer farmers have, in, have planted sugar beets this year. Um, if we look at the map, the entire map, um, notice the sugar beets are on. But if I turn it off or on, nothing changes. So there isn't a single field on this entire map that has a sugar beet crop on it, which is unusual because um, there's almost always, you know, more than one field that has sugar beets on it. But for whatever reason, the computer farmers didn't plant it this, this year. Um, so I have a solution to that. Uh, the solution, and it's a temporary solution, is that there's a mod that allows you to purchase um, production ingredients uh, straight up. So, for example, if we go to um, our, our dairy, which needs sugar, we can select the sugar, and then now there's a little buy button down here, and we can buy it, uh, the sugar. The thing about the price, though, is it's basically a dollar per liter, uh, which is really, really cheap. I mean, so I think what, you know, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to use this until I completely run out of sugar. And then I'm going to use this, but I'm, I'm not going to use this price. I'm going to pay whatever the going market price is at that point in time. Um, so right now, if we look at the price of sugar... Uh, which is right here, it's right around $500 per thousand liters, which basically means it's about two bucks a liter. Okay, so when, if and when the time comes that we need to purchase sugar until I can get a, a, a field, you know, of sugar beets harvested, um, we are going to pay whatever the going price is at that point in time. And I'll, you know, I'll do the calculations. So we'll, we'll buy it, um, you know, using this, we'll buy it here, but then we'll, we'll also pay the difference so that we're paying market price um, because that's just way too cheap. You know, that that's like 50% <laughs> cheaper than everything else or, or more. So um, anyway, so, but we, but at least what that means is we have a solution now where, where we can keep our productions going, our dairy and our bakery in particular going uh, if we run out of sugar before we get to the point where we can supply it ourselves. And, and again, I'm only going to use that um, to tie this over until we can. I, I, I want to, you know, supply that stuff myself because that's just kind of, you know, part of the fun here of playing this game is you have a farm and you supply your own productions with your own crops and and uh, resources and products and that sort of thing. Okay, anyway, um, so yeah, the first thing we're going to do is, whoops, uh, let's go ahead and do a mixture for the cows and we got to move the wool. We got to transport some milk. Actually, I'm going to run over and grab the pickup truck. Well, let's do the milk first. And, you know, just kind of do our, our usual chores. We'll get those knocked out really quick. And then after that, we'll figure out what our next move is. We're probably just going to go ahead and move right on into August and um, get our sorghum harvested. I think that's probably what we're going to do. we got some eggs that we're going to need to move here, too. Okay, let's do these chores. Yesterday's happiness gets nearer. The light that we see closing in so fast ahead. It's hope, it's getting clearer. The more I think of all the tough times we survived, the more it makes me smile. If nothing's broken us, yeah, nothing ever will. Cause dreams are hard to kill. Say 
All right, guys, we are finished with the chores and uh, we are ready to wrap up July. So let's take a look at our money. Uh, things are going to be a little bit weird here in July just because of <coughs> kind of the craziness that happened with the contracts. Uh, but let's see if we can get through it here. So we didn't purchase anything. Uh, well, we didn't purchase any vehicles, I should say, in July. Uh, but we did, of course, make the huge uh, purchase of Field 57. So that's where all that money went to. Um, we spent $11,787 in repairs. <coughs> Excuse me. We spent eleven, almost $11,000 in vehicle leasing costs. Um, a Almost half of that was the lease of that big, uh, the big header that we used to do the grain fields. And then we're continuing to lease the fast baler and an extra roller. And I think that covers that right there. $800 in property maintenance. Um, we're actually in the positive again on production costs, which is interesting. And uh, let's see, we sold $259 worth of bales, just a little bit of a, of a bale from a contract. Finishing up, uh, we spent $2,114 in fuel, uh, $482 in water. It's interesting that the water is lower this month than it was from the previous month. So I wonder if it has something to do with the time of year, because it's always been $620. Well, you know, since March anyways. Uh, oh, you know why? Because we're we're not actually at the end of the day on July. That's why. So that'll probably, that'll probably end up being $620, um, you know, at the end of July, uh, we made, uh, we netted, um, $30,729 from harvest income, except for that's not really accurate because we ended up giving back $18,933 of that money. Um, and then I think the rest is from canola that we that we did sell. I think, yeah, that's probably mostly correct. I'm not really sure. <laughs> uh, like I said, the this was a weird month. We had some weird stuff happen. Uh, we grossed seventy two thousand one hundred twenty seven dollars on contracts. We paid workers twelve thousand and two hundred sixty six dollars. Miscellaneous is ten thousand three seventy seven. That's uh, oh actually. Yeah, that's, uh, we need to pay our pallet worker and we need to pay for, um, trailer, trailer loads that we've done. So pallet worker is 3,200 bucks. And I, I figured I did about 14 trailer loads all told between contracts, doing our own hay, um, and taking straw off the fields. So that means $1,400. Okay, so that pays our workers for the month. And then, um, yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, we, we, we added money. We took money out, you know, to try and balance things out with the weirdness from the contract. So I, I guess I can't really fully account for all of that other than to say that it, it probably had something to do with that. So anyway, um, uh, and we, of course, we took out $180,000 loan to purchase that field. And we have uh, currently have ten thousand dollars and forty two, uh, ten thousand and forty two dollars for operating cash. Okay, and that should wrap up July. So what we're gonna do is sleep and head on into August. And I think our first order of business is gonna be to harvest our new sorghum field, and then we're also gonna have to do our own our, our third hay cutting for our own fields. And then you know some contracts should come up too, probably some fertilizing and uh, maybe some other sorghum contracts but you know there's only four additional sorghum fields and they're all pretty small so probably not going to be worth it uh to do that so i don't think i'll take those but i will certainly take fertilizing and cultivating contracts as usual and then we'll go from there okay so i will see you guys in august let's go to sleep All right, guys, welcome back. It's August 1st, and uh, I figure it's probably about time that OG changes his clothes. It's, <laughs> it's been a long time since 
Oh, the poor guy's had a change of clothes. He's been wearing these clothes for a very long time. Uh, that's not to say he hasn't washed them, you know, but still. Uh, so, yeah, let's get him some new clothes. So, let's see. We'll start with a shirt. Um, it is still summertime, so we got the crone. We got. Let's go with the John Deere shirt. Yeah, why not? What's that, Hardy? I don't know. Let's go with the John Deere shirt. And how about if we give him... A different hat to wear. Uh, what about that one? No, not that. Uh, let's go with the ball cap. We'll give him the ball cap. And uh, for his boots, how about we go... What's he wearing now? Those thingies? Um, let's give him... Let's give him those boots. Sure, why not? And as far as his pants goes... Uh... These are kind of odd pants. Oh, those are branded pants. Okay. These are kind of cool. They're like uh, parachute pants, I guess. Yeah, we'll go with the parachute pants. And then for gloves, how about we give them those gloves? No, let's give them those gloves. Okay, cool. So finally, OG's had a change of clothes. <laughs> it's been a long time coming. All right, you guys, I'm excited because today we get to harvest the sorghum on field 57. Uh, the field that we purchased in the last uh, month uh, in July there. And we're just going to use our own equipment for this. So, yeah, let's go get to it. I'm very excited to uh, to be able to do this. And then uh, once we do get that harvested, we are going to uh, expand the field a little bit more. So we'll head out and get... Uh, a worker started in the combine and then we'll come back and get our the truck and one of our big trailers hooked up get that all going uh, because this is a sorghum field uh, we can't get straw off of it but whatever we plant on there for the next season which will probably be barley um, you know we'll be able to get straw at that point um, that's field out there I think has sorghum on it too or at least it did looks like maybe it's been harvested at this point uh, no actually it hasn't but um, I mean we're going to have our hands full just you know harvesting this field this is a pretty big field and we have a pretty small combine but I you know money is really tight at the moment that's just a temporary situation but I don't want to spend any more money than we absolutely have to um, until you know we can get some more um, speaking of which, though, we do have contracts. Um, boy, that's a lot of money, but man, what a pain in the butt to have to do that many potatoes. That's field 25. I think that's the one kind of up. Yeah. I don't know. That's a lot of money, though. We could use we could use $20,000. Uh, everything's being run up the farmer's market. It looks like... Uh, looks like they're giving us that machine, too. I don't think that has a huge header on it. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're definitely not doing any plowing contracts. Okay, that's that's a fairly decent... Oh, that's the same field from last time. No, we're not doing those fields again because we've already done them. So 31 and 73 have already been done. You know, boy, we gotta we have to do our own hay, too. This No, do we? I don't think we have to do our own hay this month. No, we don't have to do that till next month. I I think I'm actually going to take this. It's going to take me a while, but I'll I'll get workers to help with it. Um, because you know, that's going to boost our money back up because we really could actually use some money. So we're going to go ahead and borrow those items, and do that uh, contract. But we will do that, of course, later on. Uh, just because you know we need a little more cash. We have pretty much everything we need to expand this field, except for, I do need to get a couple of logging tools, because we have to remove some trees. We don't have to remove a ton of trees, but we are going to have to remove some. So, basically, a mulcher and a log um, grapple thingamadoodle is what I want. Okay, so i got to figure out which direction the furrows are heading on this field because our combine 
doesn't do too well if it's not going with the grain. Uh, so let's just go to this corner and we'll see, you know, which direction it'll start in. But yeah, this is a nice big field. This is the, definitely by far the biggest field we've owned uh, in this series. And we're going to make it even bigger, you know, by expanding it after we, you know, get it harvested here, which is going to be great. So we'll get over to this corner here. And I'm going to just start this direction and see if this is the right direction to go. If it isn't, we'll have to turn and go the other way. Now we can't really tell, can we? Yeah, it doesn't really show us furrows, but it seems like it seems like it can handle this okay. So it's not, you know, it's not swerving or doing anything weird. So I think we'll be okay going this direction. Very good. Okay, so let's get a, a worker going here, and then we're going to run back to the farm and get a trailer hooked up. And I think we'll use the man and we'll also grab one of our big trailers we'll get the one out of the barn here I guess it doesn't really matter uh, but we should be able to keep up with just one one trailer pretty easily I'm thinking oh all right a oh, little smash into the chicken coop there Oh, man. Okay, hold on. Now I'm, like, completely stuck. It's got the wheels off the ground. How funny is that? All right, here. A little bit of super strength assistance here, I guess. That was a little odd. All right, cool, man. So this will give us a nice supply of green... We will uh, top the chickens off first before I put the rest in the in the grain mill. The grain mill is already done, you guys. <laughs> With all the wheat and oats that we put into it last month, it's already done. It's already converted all that to flour. The thing really manufactures quickly, which is not a bad thing, but it's just, you know, it makes it um, challenging, I guess, is the word, to keep up with it. But, I, I mean, ideally, I don't even know if this is possible, but ideally I'd like to keep it running 24 7 but I have a feeling like we're gonna need a few more grain fields than just this one to accomplish that but this is a start you know step in the right direction we can't uh, we can only you know bite off a certain amount of chunks I guess is what I'm trying to say at a time here um, I'm gonna actually turn around Okay. Look at that red sorghum. Very cool. I was going to actually look on Mod Hub too to see if I could find a mod that we could turn sorghum into straw, but I forgot to do it. It's been it's kind of late at night. I've had, you know, had to go in the office today and then I had some other stuff to do when I got home, so I'm just now getting to uh, the second part of this episode today, I, I started everything you've seen up to this point, I recorded yesterday in real life. But we should be able to increase the acreage of this field a little bit more. We'll be able to come out, come a little bit closer to the to the train tracks not a lot closer but a little bit closer but there's a lot of room over on that end um, and a decent amount of room on this end too like that all the tree the two trees that you see there those are going to go because i'm planning on expanding the field um, almost all the way out to the edge which 
just so we can, you know, get as much bang for our buck as possible. Okay, well, I'm going to let the combine um, get down to the end of the field and then back again. It's going to take a little while before this trailer's actually going to get filled up, but if we can keep the combine running full, you know, the whole time without having to stop, then this job won't take too terribly long to do. Okay, so yeah, uh, I will bring you guys back with an update as we progress here. <laughs> 